Tim Brennan reporting live from our studios here in the FBC News Department. This week I had a chance to sit down with the pastor of the First Baptist Church of Streetsboro, none other than Pastor Robert York. You've no doubt heard for some time about the upcoming fall program. You've heard of the rumors, you've the innuendo, and seen the letters to the editor and the sound off page. Now you get a chance to hear from the man himself about what the fall program is like, what to expect in the upcoming weeks, for you visitors, a little taste of what it's like here at First Baptist Church on a regular basis. Let's go live now to our interview. Um, you know, we're thinking of uh, the fishers of men theme. Mm -hmm. I want to be a fisher of men or a fisherman. How do I do it? What does it take for me to be a fisherman? Well, in the context of what we're talking about for our fall program, uh, Jesus spoke to the disciples and he told them, follow me and I will make you fishers of men. Um, they were fishers of fish and they understood the concept of fishing, but um, they were fishing for the wrong thing, a uh, much less important thing. And so God um, called them, Jesus Christ called them to uh, become a fisher of men, to spend their lives trying to catch men for his glory and uh, for his kingdom. So the disciples in the Bible, they were fishermen, and then Christ calls them to be fishers of men. When you picture one of those disciples, what does he look like to you? Well, the Bible says that he was clothed with uh, um, like a hairy type of a garment, um, that he uh, uh, ate locusts and wild honey. Um, he lived in the wilderness, and uh, um, I think he probably was quite the spectacle, actually. Um, you know, kind of, I think, I guess we think of those like uh, the, the type of biblical clothing that they would wear at that time. It would probably be rather rough and very very coarse uh, in its appearance. They have sandals? Um, yeah, yeah, I'm sure they would, the sand would be hot, so I would imagine they would have sandals. They have a headband. The shepherd of do-rag. <laughs> <laughs> so what do you do? Wait, hold on. So after, okay. So after a long day of fall program on Sunday, what do you do when you come home and your kids just run up to you and swarm you and just grab onto you and hug you? Um, I would run as fast as I can and find a source of water or um, some way to roll on the ground as fast as I could uh, to try to kill them and get them off me. What does your wife say when she's trying to motivate you or encourage you? You're a diabetic freak. So can you describe your favorite fishing outfit? Um, white, uh, lacy, um, full. Uh, sequins on it. It's very beautiful. So I heard that after you catch the fish, you like to just rip in, consume them raw. You really think that's a good idea? Um, I you know it's a habit that I have that um, I'm trying to break. I don't realize I'm doing it all the time. Oh, that sounds disturbing. Why don't you come to RU this Friday? Maybe we can help. I'm really having big struggles with the reality of what it's going to take to get me well. Mm. How do you feel about that choir special this morning? Um, well, honestly, that destroyed the rest of my day. Hmm. Yeah, I felt the same way. What kind of songs would you rather have them sing? Um, uh, Rockabye Baby. Mm-hmm. Mm, the coffee from the visitor center is excellent. Where do you get the water for that? Um, we have several toilets that have water in them, so... <laughs> <laughs> So, when everybody comes together for fall program, you got visitors, you got relatives, you got everybody coming back, the building's packed, the pews are packed, we're all scrunched together, you stand up at the pulpit and you look out at that, what does that remind you of? 41 gallon jars of dill pickles. And some of them had been there for so long that the dill pickles had actually like swollen so large that they were you know, like packed into the jar and there was no more place for pickle space, okay? So who would you say is the best preacher in this church? Might be you, Tim Brennan. <laughs> <laughs> what do you want people, people that come here for fall program, church people, visitors, we want people to get from this whole thing? Well, I want them to have some fun, first of all. Um, 
I think that and I'm not against you know what we how we've done church in the past, but uh, I just I want to have some fun, and I think our church needs to have some fun. This is a hardworking church, and I and, and I think instead of just working hard, I think if we put some fun and work hard together, um, that we're going to enjoy ourselves a little bit more doing this. What I want them to get out of it is I want them to be able to have. Um, something where they can bring some friends to and just see that there's some real people here. Okay. So, with all the effort and all this energy, everything that goes into getting people to bring visitors, getting people to come into the building here, what do you say to somebody that says, you know what, I just don't want to be here, I'm not going to show up for fall program services. If you don't do this now, we're going to be cutting off your limbs in your future. <laughs> And thank you to Pastor York for giving us the opportunity to sit down and talk. Now you've got the inside scoop on the fall program. You know what life is like here on a daily basis at First Baptist Church. Stay tuned next week when we dig in deeper exactly what's going on the Fishers of Men. This is Tim Brennan. So long until next week. Thanks for watching.